SkyTechLegion.com. This is Skate and Eric here today. Uh, NVIDIA has just released their latest in their Kepler lineup, the 650 Tyke. Uh, and this is EVGA's uh, mid-range to higher-end version of it. This is the GeForce GTX 650 Tie SSC. SSC means super, super clocked. So this is where we get the uh, overclock core more so than even their SC, so you, you get a, a really good overclock on the core. Now to break down all the specific details, the actual core clock is 1071 megahertz. The memory clock set at 5400 megahertz effective. Uh, the new 650 Ti contains six or 768 CUDA cores. Uh, this is PCIe 3.0 and this card does come with one gigabyte of onboard GDDR5 memory. Now if we break it down and just take a closer look what we get two DVI ports and then a mini HDMI here for interface. Um, this is powered by a single six pin PCIe power connector and then if you really take a look at it I mean this thing's small uh, it's about six inches in length um, it is PCIe 3.0 compatible and I mean they did just totally made this thing tiny and then loaded a a big cover on the top with a nice fan and as far as key features this does have the NVIDIA SMX engine uh, it's the Kepler architecture uh, with NVIDIA's new adaptive vertical sync, uh, new NVIDIA surround technology, um, DirectX 11, PhysX, 3D Vision, CUDA, OpenGL 4.3 support. And then uh, what they require, or what they say in their requirements, is a 400 watt or greater power supply with a minimum of 20 amps on the plus 12 volt rail. And then as far as included accessories, we get a double Molex 2 6-pin PCI power connector, uh, VGA to DVI adapter, driver installation, warning card, plug your thing in before you start your system up, um, just a card showing it's PCIe 3.0 ready. Uh, we got a quick start guide and then a user guide and a hard sticker for the case. And that is the new EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti SSC edition.